Mr. Speaker, we strongly believe that death penalty should be abolished. To prove this, we ask two questions. Our, our first key question is why does punishment exist? There are many reasons, but one of the most important reasons is to make criminal, to make criminals get back into society. Humankind made punishment because they want criminals to understand their mistakes, feel guilt or remorse, and be reclaimed. Everyone seeks for peaceful society. However, death penalty is clearly not re-education, just vindictive acts. Humankind cannot achieve ultim ultimate objective of punishment by death penalty. Why is getting society important? Human beings have to have to be protected their dignity, even they even they commit serious crimes. This is based on persuasion that their dignity is sacred, and everybody has this right, and it protects everybody. Of course, terrorist who was who was returned a guilty body. And criminal who killed many children were are not are not isolated example. We cannot stop violent conception by violent acts. Even government that is in position to observe this primary role should conform to rule. Otherwise, this rule's reliability and validity will be lost. Therefore, death penalty is a violation of basic human rights that is very atrocious and inhuman. This fact shows that death, penal death penalty should be abolished. Our second key question is, what is the crucial role of the death penalty? There are many views on this matter, but one of the most crucial view is the death penalty is not at least the final suitable uh, judgment on the brutal murder. Why the death penalty is not the proper judgment to stop them from committing the serious crime? The answer is simple. The criminal can easily die from it without painful experiences. The anticipatory suffering of criminal who may be kept on the death row for many years makes the punishments more severe than just depriving of crime of life. In other words, executions, especially where they are painful, humiliating, and public, may create a sense of horror that would prevent them from committing the serious crime. In addition, according to the John C. Mark Adams, the professor of political science, PhD at Harvard University. He said, if we execute the murders and there is in fact no deterrent effect, they have killed a bunch of murders. Or if we fail to execute the murders and doing so will in fact with no deterrent for others' murders we have allowed the killing of a bunch of innocent victims. I would much rather risk the former. This, to me, is not a tough call, and I agree with his opinion. And in fact, the number of the uh, serious crime and the crime rate has not been declining in recent years. From these reasons, this penalty is not proper and a final sensible decision for the brutal murder. And there's no strong evidence for deterrence. Thank you.